Okay, if you're checking us out on the blog, we're about to take a look at the 900 versus the 250. If you're finding this video on YouTube, you might want to check out the blog to play catch up. Now you have two fibers. You have the buffer here. I just wanted to show you to two different sizes. You have your 250, which is obviously small, and then you have your 900, which is also pretty small. Now the 250 size, the smaller the two, you'll find this commonly manufactured with loose tube fiber optic cable. The other one, the 900, you'll find this commonly installed with tight buffered cables. Now as you can imagine, if you have loose tube fiber, uh, the tube, the cable construction of the cable will be smaller if you use obviously the smaller of the two. So you have your buffer. We're going to strip. We're going to strip some off so you can check out the cladding underneath. The cladding underneath is going to be the same, 125. But you have your 250 and your 900. Let me see if I can strip a piece off for you. Here we go. So the cladding underneath is the 125. Keep in mind these are both multi-mode 62.5 strands. So the core is going to be 62.5. The cladding is 125 and the outside buffer for loose tube you have 250. For the type buffer you have 900. Now the core, so small to see, obviously, but if you have a, you have your 62.5, but if you do a, for example, you might want to do a 50 micron fiber, so that'll be 50, and your single mode's 9 slash 125. Now tight buffered cables are easier to work with. They're easier to strip. And you don't need any additional fan out kits in order to give your glass some durability. I broke it right there, but it's been a little while since I did this, but I just wanted to, you guys to take a look at the difference between the two sizes of the buffer. Now back to the blog.